Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. We're on episode 91. And unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode due to the timings of the components being built. But in this episode, we start about building a custom button for Forgot Modal 1 by using the modal button component that we built out previously. Then we start working on the next Forgot button step by creating a new Forgot Form 2 component and styling it to look like Twitter's. As always, I'm Ethan Encoder, and let's hop straight into the development. Cool, of course, we don't want this ugly button here. We actually want a custom button. So let's hop back in and create a custom button to put there. So back in VS Code, let's go ahead and I'm gonna keep, we don't need these open, I suppose. We do need forgot password. We're gonna go ahead and make a new folder. We're gonna say forgot, uh, forgot uh, next button. I'm actually gonna name this forgot buttons. Well, do I want to forgot? I'm gonna say forgot button one. And if I do refactoring later, I'll do refactoring later. It makes sense to do it the way I do forms, but it is what it is. I wasn't playing like this, so it's fine. We're gonna say forgot button one.tsx. We're gonna make a new file forgot button one.css. Cool. And let's come in here. So we need to import React from React. We need to go ahead and import our modal button. And we need to go ahead and import our dot slash. And I called this forgot button one dot CSS. Need an interface. And this is going to be forgot password next button prompts. And this is going to have a value. Should really be called credential probably, but value colon string, then the handle click. And this will be equal to, excuse me, a void function. Whoops. Void, maybe. Cool. Now we need to export const. And now we have a forgot password, uh, forgot button one. And now we'll say this is a react dot function component. This is a forgot password. And actually I want to call this, not this forgot button one props. I'm changing names on things here on the fly and naming things differently just because I know in the future it's going to make more sense. So that's why I'm getting a little bit confused ahead of myself, but it's fine. Return. We're going to have a div class name equal to forgot dash button dash one. Again, I might make some changes here and here I have a modal button. We're having a wrapper here so we can basically tell how wide it is. So our active is going to be equal to, do we have a value? Yes or no. We'll say true, otherwise false. If um, next our height will be 50 PX. I'm pretty sure it's 50 to a margin and stuff, but whatever font to color is going to be equal to white. Then, oh, cool. That's not what I wanted. Background color is going to equal to black. Then our font size is going to equal to 17. Our font weight is going to equal to 700. And our hover background is going to equal to RGBA. So R0, B0, uh, I forgot G, G is also zero. And finally our A, forgot a comma. Why are you doing this to me? A, maybe A is going to be 0.8. I delete that, thank you. And then finally we need an on click. So our on click is going to be equal to handle Click. Go ahead and close this guy. 
and here we're gonna have next save so that's all we have to do we just need to go ahead and install this so it takes up 75 percent so all we have to do is come into here and say dot i think it's forgot dash modal or forgot button dash one or something like that and then we're gonna go ahead and say width is 75 percent and height is gonna be fit content and again, it might make sense to make a folder with all the forgot buttons and everything. We'll see. I believe we can close out of these for now. And we can go ahead and bring this in to our forgot password modal. And if we come in here and forgot password modal, go and import our new button. So uh, imports our forgot button one. And then now instead of having this button here, we we'll have a forgot button one forgot button one is a value equal to credential and a handle click equal to i think i called this search user yeah search user and we can go ahead and do this and then here it will say step to button because each button is going to do something different so we have our step two button we can go ahead and try this out to make sure it's working. So it's disabled currently. I probably want to update this to actually be able to be lighter. And that's actually a pretty simple fix. We can come in here and go in here. And this isn't something I have, but it should be a pretty simple fix. We come in here and say background. So we can go ahead and say value question mark. If there's a value, it'll be black. Otherwise we can say RGBA and say like zero, 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 like 0.5 or 0.7 or something. And take a look. Now it's kind of grayed out a little bit. Maybe 0.8 would be a little bit better. Uh, let's take a look. There we go. So now it's kind of like grayed out. You can tell it's not there. We type unknown coder, it grays in. And for some reason, pointer's not working. I'm not that concerned about it, but we hit next. You can see we have step two button, we have unknown coder, things are looking good there. That means we can trudge along to create forgot form two, which is gonna be the next stage here. So again, I'm just gonna close out of this and that forgot forms, make a new file, forgot form uh, two .tsx. And we just need to import a few things. Of course, react from react. Then we need to go ahead and say import our forgot forms dot forgot form dot CSS. We'll also import our global CSS. Go all the way out to assets slash global dot CSS. And we'll go ahead and export const. And here forgot form to react.function component equal to this. It's not going to return anything. Now this part I, I think has a bug that we're going to come back to later on um, in a future episode. So don't worry about it. Return. And we're going to go ahead and say we have a div with a class name equal to forgot dash form dash container. I think that's what I call this. I'm going to double check. Open this up. Yep, forgot form container. It's going to be all the same size. H1. Class name is going to be equal to forgot dash form dash header. And this is going to say where should we send confirmation code question mark. And then we're going to have a P tag with a class name equal to forgot dash form dash text and color dash gray. And this is going to say before you can change your password, we need to make sure it's really you. So do that. And then we can go ahead and say P again, the class name 
equal to forgot dash form dash text and color gray. And what we can say is we can say start by choosing where to send the confirmation code. Cool. And then we need a couple of custom CSS things here. So we will say div last name. And this one will be forgot dash form dash two. And this is going to be called select dash group. I should have called it a radio group, but it is what it is. I have a P class name. Maybe. And this will be equal to forgot dash form dash two dash select dash text. And we're going to go ahead and say send an email to. We're going to fill this out later. And then we're going to have an input type equal to radio, maybe, and the value will equal to email and our ID will be equal to email. And then on change is just going to be empty for the time being, we're not doing anything with it. And I'm going to copy this and paste it again because I'm lazy. So now we can say send a or text a code to the number. Ending in again, we're not going to actually do the texting because it costs money and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind, but we'll set it up to at least have the UI look similar. So phone and phone and then let's go ahead and take a look at the CSS. So again, we just have to add in a couple of things. So we already have the container. So all we have to do is add the select group here in the select text. So come down here dot forgot dash form dash two dash select dash group. And this is just gonna have a width of 100% going to have a display a flex it's going to have a justify content of space between a align items of center a height of fit content and a margin bottom of 10 px so we need our forgot oopsies forgot dash form dash two dash select dash text it's basically the same except it has a lot thicker so margin will be zero our font dash size 15 px our font weight will be 700 so like i said it's a little bit thicker so we can't really see anything right now uh because we haven't brought it in and i'm gonna get a little bit of my head myself here but i want to show you all what's going on but let's go ahead and bring it in here and we'll say import our forgot and this would be form 2 and we need to fix this here. So now let's we'll say step uh, equal to one question mark. And we'll say colon and we'll say forgot form two, which doesn't take any data and it might show it. Cool. So you see we have our stuff. We have our uh, buttons. These don't quite work properly. We're going to make custom ones actually right up next. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.